My name is Christian Dewey, and so uh, along with my colleague Paul, uh, Paul McKeown, we, uh, we run sort of a small animation and private company in McLean in Shoreditch. About, uh, about a year ago, we um, came up with a strange idea. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, just my role is as, um, what would you say, general busybody and managing half vice president director <laughs> of the company, <laughs> of yeah. the company, yes, definitely, uh, and uh, quarter partner partner in uh, in Ofcus, really. So we tend to run um, everything together and, and liaise with each other all the time. So I think we just swap roles. <coughs> Well, it was. It is kind of a side project, but it's sort of a. It's a bit misleading to call it a side project because it's taken up more of our time at some points than our actual day and other jobs has. Yeah. So the roles kind of are also about who's kind of working on something in a given week outside of offcuts, and that kind of shifts who takes responsibility. Yeah, we've got full time jobs. Really, set up with full time uh, as a producer from the initial studio. Uh, myself and Paul work uh, on a. Um, Several other company in East London, and then Chantel uh, works as a uh, creative at uh, advertising agency. Really, so you know those those are nine to nine to ten yeah, yeah, jobs yeah. already. And Offcuts is is I guess an extra week on top of that. We started quite ambitiously, I think, and you know we got really excited very quickly. I mean, we've been working on this since April of last year, so it'll be a year when the final event actually happens and. When, when Chan came in, we had kind of actually intended to have it six months from the first meeting, and that was kind of unrealistic. So having like that additional focus after we were really buzzing about the idea to kind of get the production of it right was really helpful, I think. Yeah. We have Tatini, um, who are a punk karaoke group from Brazil. I shouldn't call them punk karaoke, they're actually punk karaoke. They're a bit of like a mashup of like the Brazilian electronic sound and kind of no way punk. Then we have Selfish Kant, a post-punk group that have been kicking around for a while that I just think are, are genius. Uh, Plum of Faith and the Unfaithful that are kind of like a new soul rockabilly outfit. The Stolas that are, I think they're actually, they have a single that's signed at the moment. They've been really picking up a lot of speed. Uh, Ms. Metro is based in New York, who's kind of like a hip-hop, sort of pop artist. Um, do I miss you or is that Emily? Plum of Faith. Selfish Fun, Stolas, and Ms. Metro, as a five band. We were, we were really interested in, in the music not being kind of from one place, I and mean, the aesthetic of the site is quite, I don't know, quite graffiti and a bit yeah. punk, but we, we really wanted to have like an eclectic group of bands, not just for the, on one hand, for the music video directors to really see that there was something for everyone, there's a music interest for everyone that you could be inspired by. But also in terms of the gig, it's just, it's kind of like an insane lineup. It almost doesn't make any sense to like see a punk band and then see like an electro band and then see like a hip hop artist in like the same set. But I think that kind of fits our sensibility. Is, yeah. And, and, and keeping in line with, with the eclectic mix, we've actually just um, this week um, got on board two DJs. Um, uh, one subsonic Simon who's resident of the club enemy of Coco in Camping Town. And uh, then we've got Jeff Automatic who started uh, the Automatic Night in, in the 90s, which is sort of one of the first indie indie rock uh, based clubs uh, in London. And now he's resident of the Theatre. So uh, one's practically indie rock based DJ, the other one's electronic. Moving into electric crash. So uh, there's, there's quite a good mix of music and then genres on the night it should, should make it quite a blistering <laughs> event hopefully and obviously then there's Paul and myself emceeing on the night talking nonsense and bollocks throughout the night so yeah that should be quite interesting I think overall the night that's the general mix and, and video and music for me would be like definitely the highlight it's just, just seeing it all, all, all unfold either well planned or, or it's just but it'll just happen <laughs> organically yeah, I don't know. For me, I, I would find it impossible to find a highlight because I do sort of feel like we've created something that's just much, much bigger than ourselves. And I know it's going to happen, and I'm really psyched about happening. And the bands, you know, contact me all the time. And filmmakers are getting really excited. But I, and we're here, but I kind of, it's, I'm going to have to see it to believe it a little bit. I think it's going to, it's probably going to really well. We want 
to do is create a, a, create a base or community where we only want quality, both from music and the music side and both from the video side. And that's, that's one aspect that we, we, we will set from the start. It's when it needs to be a certain amount of quality, talent, and skill coming from both the sides of the but innovation, I think, is quite important as well because I think the other thing we've always agreed on is how something glossy in and of itself isn't necessarily very interesting. And I think in terms of what's happening now that's quite exciting is because of sites like MySpace. I don't give MySpace that looks impressed, but it's just it's much easier for artists from both mediums, from visual mediums, music mediums, to interconnect. Like you know, we had a submission in the one size fits all category from this woman who is a filmmaker and, and basically like her daughter, her teenage daughter, like found, she was like, I really want to make a music video. She's an animator. And she got her daughter to find like the band that she liked the most that was, you know, unsigned on MySpace. And that kind of gave birth to this really, really fantastic music video. I think the idea of creating this like global online hub where people can, yeah, exchange music and, and visuals and also kind of get together and expose and exploit it is kind of exciting. I mean, really, that's even just in terms of our online votes, like now we're getting about six or 80 emails a day and that's just for people who are like connecting out to all their friends and you're sort of seeing these little filmmaker hubs in Australia and, and America and here where people are like saying, I really want to like be the winner in Off Cuts, we need to make it to the final, so please vote for my video and they're posting bulletins and they're saying, oh yeah, well, this is our YouTube entry, but go to our website because it's better resolution there. And I think that's that's kind of exciting to be tapped into all that. Yeah. So one, the one great thing about um, the whole year of Off Cuts and, and how the vote is, is seeing little, tiny little communities forming in, in all the countries that we've received submissions from. And, you know, some of it as far as Australia, uh, in Europe, we've had entries from Italy and uh, Sweden. There's too much mention in Spain. And, uh, Spain and, yeah. So it's, it's 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 nice to see you plant a seed from little acorns, <laughs> as they used to say. I'm the target audience. <laughs> I'm not going to be there. I'm going to be watching it. <laughs> uh, well, I think generally for um, uh, consumer-based internet websites, you, you're generally looking at people from the ages of 16 up to 35 really, uh, people that are keep clued up as to what uh, new music uh, is about, um, follow sort of uh, blogs and all in uh, the musical uh, field but also video art field, so uh, there's quite a wide, wide audience. It's kind part. of like, you know, digital savvy creatives, I think, yeah. effectively. That's sort of who we're, that's who we're <laughs> tapped into because we've yeah. done so much thing is, we started off, you know, hoping that we were going to have a big corporate sponsor and having a big PR backing, but without that, you're forced to do it your own way, and the easiest way to do it your own way without money is to be online. So we started with a viral campaign on YouTube, and that kind of blew up, and our website's really helped out a lot as well. So because of that, the nature of our demographic is people who are web savvy, because all of our PR has really been generated guerrilla online without a budget by any means necessary. Yeah, exactly. I said me. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. We are our own demographic, I guess. What's going to happen here, we're in, we're in cargo on, on Rivington Street in Shoreditch, and the event's going to happen on April 1st from 6 to 12, effectively a mini festival. We've got five bands, we have, I think, about 10 music videos, um, industry panel judging, and maybe an after party. The details are going to be confirmed. <laughs> yes, <laughs> to keep that secret. And you can buy tickets from TicketWeb and from the Cargo Online Shop and from us <laughs> uh, at tickets at offcuts.org.